Axtell Eagles Coaches Corner, a service of Axtell Trust, B&D Buildings, Eagle HVAC and Plumbing, Axtell Lumber, Axtell Car Wash, and Blue Valley Technology. For engineered roof and floor trusses, call on Axtell Trust. 12 to 80 foot span, complete hip, cathedral, and floor systems using only the best SYP available. Delivered to your site undamaged on a roll-off trailer. Manufactured locally at Axtell Trust on US Highway 36, two miles west of K110 between Seneca and Marysville. Phone 785-736-2291. If your vehicle is looking like it just went through a money rally race, or perhaps it's been target practice for the neighborhood bird gang, then you need to get your car washed today at the Axtell Car Wash. The Axtell Car Wash has two enclosed self-service bays, even one size for semi-tractors. Just pull in, pay with your bank card, and wash all the dirt, mud, bugs, and bird stuff off your vehicles. You don't have to drive far to get a clean car. Just visit the Axtell Car Wash, proud supporter of the Axtell Eagles. The ND Buildings of Axtell specializes in post frame buildings. Give them a call for stud frame buildings with complete concrete and electrical work included. It's one call to get the job done. The ND Buildings specializing in post frame building construction, plus repairs and more. Always free estimates. Give them a call. The ND Buildings of Axtell, 785 294 0147. BD Buildings at 785 785- 2940147 Joined now by Eric Detweiler, head coach of the Axel Eagles. Coach 68 to nothing win, first half win against Blue Valley last Friday night. Overall, what are your thoughts on that contest? Well, you know, I was pleased with the way our kids come out and played. You know, I told them uh, you know, home game and we always uh, you know, like our, our crowd, home crowd and the energy that we get from feeding off of that and and to use that and use that excitement and come out of the gate uh you know, with uh, energy and excitement, and, and uh, you know, I thought our kids did a tremendous job of that. They, uh, obviously, we scored 46 points in the first quarter, so I uh, got yeah, nothing to complain there, and, and, you know, I think defensively we shut them down. So, just an overall, just a great performance by our guys. Now, on that offensive side of the ball, Brandon ended up tossing five touchdown passes in that one. Where have you seen him kind of grow in that quarterback role this year after taking that over from Isaac? Yeah, you know, I think he's learning to read defenses a lot better, honestly, and and uh, he's just getting more confident in himself. Like I said, he hasn't played that position since, uh, you know, eighth grade or junior high level. So, you know, he's been a couple of years removed for it. So we knew it was going to take some time for him to get uh, comfortable in that position. And, you know, I think each and every game that, uh, you know, he plays, he's getting more more uh, familiar with uh, the reads and, and what he's supposed to be doing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with his progress. And two, overall as a team, we're through this halfway portion of the season um, is there one area that you've seen a lot of growth from or have been, you know, happy about? Well, you know, I just think our, our confidence level, honestly, you know, earlier in the year, it seemed like our guys were kind of second guessing where they needed to be or who to block or, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and, uh, you know, we don't have that anymore. We don't even discuss that anymore. We just kind of move on and, and, uh, you know, make our offense better and, you know, change plays every week. And, and, uh, you know, they're definitely getting more confident in themselves. And I, I, I you know, I'm proud of that. And kind of back to that question about Smelsley, you know, a different style of offense. You know, a lot of times you guys obviously like to keep that ball on the ground, but able to toss it through the air. How nice is that to get a game where you can kind of attack from that different angle? Because later on in the season, you're going to have to be able to adjust. Oh, absolutely. You know, in, in, to be a well-balanced offense, you need to, to be able to run and throw the ball. And, and uh, yeah, I think Brandon only had one completion last week. So, like I said, his confidence level is getting better. And, and uh, you know, if his gets better, then – then, you know, our offense can move forward and, and, you know, put in new things every week. Now, coming up with you is a Hanover contest coming up Friday night. Obviously, you guys have a lot of history. Between your two teams, what do you see in this year's Hanover squad? Well, I think they're, you know, a younger squad that's uh, kind of up and coming. And, and I think, you know, I say that, and at the same time, they got four or five seniors on, on the field at all times. And so, uh, you know, I think they're an aggressive squad that, uh, you know, is, Played some pretty impressive games so far. I don't think anybody expected them to beat Osborne, and and I think at that point in time, Osborne is ranked second in the state, and and uh, so you know they're they're impressive with what they're doing, and and uh, they're always well coached over there with Hoyer. So yeah, we're just going to have to be uh, on our toes to uh, you know be successful Friday. Well, and another district game coming up for you guys. Obviously, you're always looking for the undefeated season, but do these games add any more pressure to you? Uh, you know, Hanover is uh, alone is enough pressure that. Uh, 
you know, the district doesn't add a whole lot to it. You know, every, uh, you know, it's a league game and, and, you know, everything all at once. But it's like you said, the history between us and Hanover, if our kids can get uh, get excited for this game, then, you know, then, then I'm not sure why they're playing. <laughs> that's true as well. Always got to find that internal motivation factor. So, Eric, that's all I've got for you. Again, joined by Eric Detweiler, head coach of the Axel Eagles. Appreciate the time as always, sir. We'll talk after Friday's game. All right. Thanks, Max. Appreciate it. For all of your heating, air conditioning, plumbing, electrical, and excavation services, there's only one call to make. Eagle HVAC and Heating. Formerly Dave's Hardware and Axel, the guys at Eagle HVAC and Heating look forward to continuing the success they've built over the years. Offering all heating, ventilation, air conditioning needs, as well as carrying a wide variety of name brand appliances. They do plumbing and electrical, as well as excavation service. Give Eagle HVAC and Heating a call today in Axtell. October is Cooperative Month, and Blue Valley Technologies is celebrating. Join us on Friday, October 27th for drive through Donut Day. Swing through on your way to work or school and have breakfast on us at our West parking lot from 7 to 10 a.m. We'll be giving away donuts, hot apple cider, coffee, special merchandise, and two chances to win $25 Blue Valley Bill credits. We hope to see you on Friday, October 27th in Home City. Your hometown partner with any do-it-yourself project is Hometown Lumber of Marysville and Axtell Lumber of Axtell. Serving the community for over 20 years, expert knowledge accompanied by a helpful smile and reassuring handshake will tell you you're in the right place. With all your building needs, they are ready to help you. Stocked with a full line of lumber and hardware to go along with tools, plumbing supplies, paint, and lawn and garden, you'll leave knowing you've made the right choice by stopping at Axel Lumber and Hometown Lumber in Marysville. Axtell Eagles Coaches Corner, a service of Axtell Trust, B&D Buildings, Eagle HVAC and Plumbing, Axtell Lumber, Axtell Car Wash, and Blue Valley Technology.